Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, yeah, finished this U clear thing up. Uh, it's morning. I'm still waking up here. Um, this is here. Let's flip the camera. So yeah, finished this all up. Kind of give you a quick overview. Um, the mics, they're Velcroed in. I put them. Awesome. Let's see if I can get some light. Put one Velcroed in there. They, and it's nice, it's a pretty decent setup. The other one Velcroed here, and you can actually, I wonder if I can get a better, there we go. Just to kind of show you guys what, so there's, there's the mic. Whatever, you guys get the gist. Can't get the camera in there. There's a little hole, make sure that's pointing out. And this is kind of like, it's a little patched area. Yeah, so you get it. I don't know, I explain things too much sometimes. Anyways, you get it, there's where the mics are. Bam, one, two, Speakers went in nice. Okay, let's see if I can. There's the speakers. One, two. Oh, nice. Got good light in there. There's the other one. Routed out to the back. Let's go like that. Um, so, yeah, routed to the back. Tested it with my wife on her helmet. So I did hers too, except I couldn't route this wire properly. So I don't know if I want to cut into the material, but I had the route on my helmet. I routed the wire right. I was able to pop it through on this one. I don't want to break it, but so just routed the wire out. Kind of annoying, but uh, whatever. I'm not going to go down a gravy train on that one. You know, uh, I love to talk. So, anyways, so that's that. Did some testing, put some music to it. Music sounded great. Voice command, okay, Google, blah, blah, blah. Um, all that stuff works. Like, you know, okay, you can say, okay, Google, um, fire up Spotify, like music, and starts playing music. It's kind of a cool thing. And I'll just throw it out there is when me and my wife were talking back and forth in the house, you can play music and the music goes to soft when you're talking, almost like no music. As soon as you stop talking, the music starts to fade back in and gets louder again, which is pretty cool. Um, a little bit of tinny noise, bit of tinny noise in the talking. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's like any kind of deal breaker. It's fine. Like, I didn't really notice it. My wife noticed it a bit. Um, but sound, like speaker music, s sound great and quiet. Uh, felt really quiet. I mean, that's part of the helmet too. Oh, these helmets, I would say, like I've tried a lot of helmets. This is the Titan CKX. And this pops up and down. Locks in. I love this helmet. That's all I'm gonna say. I got another one for my wife. It comes with the 210 goggles. They're not too bad, but I've tried helmets after helmets. Look, if you look in the garage, up on top, the very top, uh, it's a big mess, but there's a whole bunch of helmets there. It's helmet, well, those are dirt bike helmets. Helmet right there. It's just all these helmets, nothing works the way I really want it and I'll say like again promoting these helmets but if you can buy a CKX Titan this is the Titan Avalanche and this is the CKX um, Titan what was this one called I cannot remember but comes with a action camera holder on top goggles are quick easy Anyways, now I'm starting to do a helmet review. So anyways, I do like these helmets. That's all I'm getting at. Um, 
paired with 509 goggles. Wow, going way down a gravy train. Paired with these 509 goggles. These are phenomenal too. Um, they're heated visor. So they plug in with the battery pack. If you guys wanna know more about these, um, they're awesome. Uh, when you plug them in, you actually feel the heat on your face from the electric shield. So really good. And uh, it's just something I enjoy. I like these. Let's get back to this. I'm um, going to see how the mic quality works with my Garmin Verb Ultra 30. And we'll also do a test with the Rilo 360 camera. And see how the sound quality sounds with these mics running video off that camera. So... I'll splice in another video. I got new video editing software, so now I can do this a lot better and it looks pr more professional and all that good stuff. So anyways, I'm going to splice the video in right, right now. Not only Bluetooth to the phone, I'm Bluetooth to my Garmin Verb, that's, that's the camera. And uh, I can see my battery life. I can go into device information. are So, music overlay, I think that's intercom volume. to see that that's a buddy uh there's that you safe thing that we talked about um it's it's off i can't turn version for that and uh so battery levels that firmware version model all that good stuff uh Okay, let's go walk around a bit and see how it sounds. I did want to kind of, I've been promoting like this Fuel Ox has been really good for me. I think it's a good product. So where did I put it? Oh man, hey doggy, hey Cooper. I can never find anything when I want to find it. So, been using, I thought I put it in here. Yeah, here it is, last door. So that's the product there, Fuel Ox. I mean, I got this bottle about three months ago, you can see. The truck. Um, what I like is it treats, this little bottle treats 625 gallons, and it's 40 bucks, and like, look at all the stuff I got, uh, Smart Blend, One Formula, um, this thing takes care of a whole bunch of different issues, I got these things for taking the gas line antifreeze, take the water out, I got another product for ethanol, you know, with the ethanol and the gas, it's Hard on two-stroke motors, um, sea foam. I got. What else do I have? Where is? I got that. And I'm not gonna go over there and start pulling stuff up. But anyways, this kind of takes care of all that. So now for 40 bucks, I buy it. I put it in all my vehicles, and I can stop buying like those things alone are like. 40, 50 bucks a box. These little gas things are like 15 bucks. Like they work, but these things are like 2.99. But that's just to take water out of your fuel. 
So that's it, guys. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, talked about lots of stuff, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be happy about this Euclear and uh, where it's going. Um, like I said, I'm already pretty impressed. So I'll throw in some video. I have some video uh, out by uh, Montana, Wyoming. So I'll throw in a bit of video footage after this. But anyways, cheers. Hope you enjoy the video. Yeah. Might put them on later. Yeah. Yeah. times cook city montana first time here and tons tons and tons of powder Go check out here. Man, the snow is insane. Last couple of weeks they said they got, or not last couple of days, I mean, it's two to three feet of powder. And you can tell. Yeah, you can definitely tell there is snow. This is a challenge for the SKS, but it still handles its own. 146, I mean, come on, we're in like three feet of powder. It's, and it still does really good. There is a good base, so that definitely helps. It's not pure fluff, but. Man, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm up on the east side, east side facing. Basically the opposite side that we were on before. Okay, I'm coming down.
So that's the group. We're running uh, about 10, 12 sleds. No, oh, it's 12 sleds. We picked up two guys. It's good times. Yesterday a guy hit a rock, not on our group but another group, and ripped his whole suspension off on the front, front, well, right side ski, ski shock, control arms, everything just ripped off. Cracked the bulkhead. Tried to do a jump and there was just only about a foot of snow. I'll throw in a picture here right away because uh, I took a picture of it. But uh, yeah, he cracked the bulkhead. That sucked. No! <laughs> not today! I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I, don't look at this, don't look at <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 